Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with Shah Vanda, the second of the Karen Shadam. And before we get started, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. Your support really helps me to keep going. Uh, and if you want to support me any further, please do check out my Patreon. Uh, all right. Um, one last thing, guys. I would recommend you watch this at a slightly faster speed, possibly 1.25, 1.5, uh, just because, you know, I do have this standing issue with my computer being a little bit slow. I'm working through it. I'm trying to find a solution. It's a little bit better than it used to be. But I'm hoping that soon I will buy a new computer and it will be faster. But in the meantime, you know, things march on. So uh, in the last episode, uh, Mr. Shah Bandad, the 20-year-old Shah, did some serious politicking. So uh, we had to reduce the power of my former regent and father-in-law. So to do this, we cre he had a lot of territory around the kingdom like i don't even know he had like a, a douchey here a douchey up here uh, and over here over here so i created some new douches and gave them out to his counts and a couple other people in the empire who didn't like me very much and i managed to fix all of the successions so everything is now primogeniture uh now people are a little bit unhappy with me uh, kind of in general. I'm not 100% sure why, to be honest. Um, yeah, I guess mostly because of the succession, the change in succession law. Uh, I think that will change in the coming years and people will start to like me again. But, you know, we will see. I'm young. I have my whole life ahead of me. I probably want to make sure that I have a good spy master. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, I should also probably make sure my daughter has a good marriage. Um, just so I can keep some factions away uh, from me. So let's see, we got a kind of a big faction here. I want to keep these guys on my side because this is a very powerful vassal, this um, Merchant Republic down here. Oh, uh, actually, no. Oh, wrong one. This one is powerful. <laughs> yeah. He's quite young, uh, so maybe I could marry my daughter to his son kind of keep him uh behind us oh is my daughter spoken for i don't remember did i already oh okay i already found her ah okay that's right actually yeah i think i remember i remember making that match to get him out of a faction okay what about you you're not particularly powerful What about you? Delbar. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, he's up there, but he doesn't have anyone I can marry. And I'm his heir. You were kind of a small fry. I could marry his daughter. Oh, no, no, she's too, too young. Well, I guess we're okay for now. Ugh, I need to get some more alliances, though, because we are about to enter into a little bit of uncomfortable territory. So... Two of my vassals are at war with the Kingdom of Georgia. Uh, one of them is just going for Kizilse, which is this little piece here. Uh, and he's going to take it before the other army does. The problem is this other guy is trying to claim Georgia. Like he's trying to become the king of Georgia. And I don't have an empire title, and I'm not close to getting one because I need a lot of money and a lot of prestige, like 8,000. So I'm not going to be able to get there. So I have to take Georgia myself. And, uh, you know, that doesn't sound too hard because it's literally one, two, three counties. Does he have anything else? Let me look. Oh, no, that's Trebizond. I want Georgia. Yeah, so he has the satrapy of Dushistan, which is where? Wait, what? Where is Dushistan? I thought Dushistan was over here. Oh, satrapy is the the Dushi. Sorry. So, and the satrapy of Dushistan is here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So he has that Dushi. Uh. And Satrap of Abkhazia, that's here. 
uh, Monks of Panetta of Kiel. So that's here, and then the... Ah, that's interesting. So he has two satrapies. Man, that really effed us up. And, I mean, all of his vassal... And this is his only count level vassal, right? This guy right here at uh, Albania. Right? Yeah, so he okay, there's no hidden provinces anywhere. It's just these three. But if he becomes the king of Georgia, uh, he's going to become independent. So this this whole... Uh, sorry, guys, my computer's not very responsive. Tabaristan, this whole area will become the kingdom of Georgia. And I can't have that. I could wait until he wins that war and declare war on him before he can join this gigantic defensive pack, which is the main reason I'm worried about doing this. But I think I'm well positioned to deal with this because my army is about to hit the Georgian army and they're going to get crushed. Then I should be able to get all of my men here before anyone else does anything because the Abbasids are busy. Uh, the Trebizond, or not the, the Sozopolis are busy. These Indian empires aren't going to get involved. Uh, are they busy, though? They're fighting someone? Uh, he is fighting for Kathmandu against the Gujas. So, yeah, that's going to be an easy fight for them. Ooh, you know, the Punjabis are not busy. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will play this a little bit safer. The good news is that this Kizil, this guy that's attacking Georgia for Kizil Se is going to prevent them from taking that territory. So you know what? I'm going to move my men over here instead. And I'm going to try to pounce on the Georgians if he can get Georgia, I'm going to try to pounce on him the minute he gets it so that I can claim, uh, well, so that I can get him before, you know, that happens, before he can join the defensive pack. I wonder, is there anything I can do to get rid of this guy? I could try to get rid of him through assassination as well. I don't know if there are enough people. He has really high intrigue, so he's kind of able to stop it. Ah, there are some. That's like 24, which makes 50, then 60. Um, 70. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think I can maybe assassinate him. If I can assassinate him, then maybe the war will end because the, the claimant will be dead. Okay, you know what? That's a more sensible strategy, I think, because I really don't want to deal with all of these people attacking me, and that would be the perfect storm uh, for a rebellion to happen or for an outside power to attack me. I think if this guy wasn't if the guy going for Kizil Se wasn't there, I probably wouldn't do it. Because he's going to prevent them from actually doing anything. Okay, so the Faravids are winning, and he's going to... Looks like he's going to attack them. And then probably he might have enough to even just outright win the war. And then that'll put us in a good position. Maybe then I could attack the Georgians. Because it's only two provinces. I could probably hire some mercenaries and just assault, assault. And then it's over. It's done. Assault this one, assault that one. And then it's over. Maybe I could do that. I think I could take care of them before, you know, things got out of control. All right. Also, something really weird that I noticed, uh, I don't want to distract from the, you know what's going on here, but uh, I noticed, I was taking a look around Europe, very interesting map here. The king of Bohemia, his mother, 
is the same dynasty as that gigantic southern Indian army. How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I was looking at their lineage. I still can't really find much of a clue. Oh, snap. Okay, so the Georgians have actually beaten uh, him. So that put him at the war score against him. That's funny. Uh, but is he about to lose Kizil So He's at 679. I guess it depends if they can catch them or not. Oh, please, 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 please. Catch them, beat them, take Kizilsa so that the Faravids can't. Ah, oh, these mother... Oh, I guess he's not a Faravid. Why do I... Th oh, he's a Faravid. Okay, the Faravids are actually trying to save me. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Okay, so the war... Okay, so okay. So I think, yeah, I think that the Georgians are going to lose Kizilsa basically outright. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a difference that it's going to make with the war score. But it's also ticking in their favor. It's at 79. 82. They haven't even won. I, I, that might do it, actually. That might give them enough. Okay, they're cleaning up the last of them. Will they give them an outright victory? Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. So he's going to lose Kissel And then I'm guessing his capital is going to move over here. And that'll give us one more territory in the Empire. But I still don't think it's enough for us to actually form it, unfortunately. That could be another solution, is if I could somehow get enough territory to make the Empire so that he can't, you know, leave by getting a kingdom title. But I don't think that's possible. The only people I can do that, the only way I can do that is if I attacked him, and he has a bit too many men. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on this. Uh, okay, let me see if I can get some of these guys on my side here. All right, yeah, let's get the guy from Tabriz. How much money do I need to give you? Hopefully not too much. 92. You know what? I'm going to go a little cheaper first. See what I can scrounge up. 15. I like the sound of that. Oh, you're probably not going to be too expensive either. Uh, 50, okay. I have a feeling I'm going to have to end up spending that 90 anyway, though. Oh, hold on. I saw an amigo here. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Fairy, bo fairy boys. No, fairy boys. Fairy boars. Uh, okay, let's give him a little bit of shingling. And actually, that might be enough. Or it'll put us right at like 90%. Can I get like one more guy with like five or something? That way I can save 90 gold. Or maybe not 90 gold, but I can save some gold. Uh, eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, you know what, F it. I'm just going to spend the 90. I'll make it back quickly. And, you know, it's kind of worth it. I think it's money well spent. Okay, so if we can get rid of him, then we can avoid this risk. What's going on? I thought you I thought you lost. You haven't surrendered. Why not? Okay, and our men are almost in position. Oh, they're gonna get them for good measure. Oh, I guess you're probably getting some war score too because you've been participating in those battles. Oh, uh, no, actually they're not. I don't know what they're waiting for. 
Go ahead and send your demands, bro. Uh, okay, you know, I'm going to send you guys over to Ergisi, or Egrisi. And then I'll probably maybe hire some mercenaries to hit, no, to hit Albania. Is Albania part of the Persian Empire? No, it's part of the Church. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. So, that will slow them down. Uh, let me check. I don't think I'll have enough, but it's worth a shot. I think I literally need like two more to get it. So effing close. How many men do I have again? 26. Oh, you know, I'm almost a similar level to the Freddy Harans. Maybe in the near future I can take those provinces. Okay, so he, you know, it might be time to, to move. I think what I'll do is uh, hopefully I can kill this guy before he actually manages to win. Uh, but I might need to hire some mercenaries if he gets too close. I think if he takes, like, one province and he's already sieging the next one, I'll hire some mercenaries, send them up here, and then I'll have them in position and the mercenaries in position and ready to pounce. Ah, uh, but you know what? Hold on. That won't work. That's not going to work. That's actually not going to work uh, because... Oh, wait a minute. Or maybe it will. Hold on. I'm trying to think here. If he becomes independent, he won't be able to immediately join the defensive pact. Wait, am I trying to assassinate the wrong person? Jahandar? No, that's right. Yeah, okay. But if he does join the defensive pact, he'll have too many provinces and I won't be able to beat him. And then I'll never be able to make the Empire. Maybe I should just risk it. Maybe I should just risk it. Are the Abbasids still busy? Eh, kind of. They're still fighting that war with my vassal. But they're about to win. I think my moment was earlier. What about you? They're still busy. They're still fighting for Hellas. And it's not really going anywhere. Question is, I'm just really worried. I mean, it's only two provinces. I should be able to take care of it. Worst case, I think I can make a white piece. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get these guys into full position. Uh, and then we'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to remove the rally point. Uh, because I think I'm going to have to manually move some people around. Okay. So they're almost there. All right. I'm not happy about this. This is really risky, but we're going to have to do it. Oh, no. I don't have support. Oh, my God. You have to be joking. Everyone owes them a favor. Okay, let's get rid of the priest. Let's get someone new in there. Get them on my side. I will also set him to converting someplace. Uh, and the advisor uh, is Mr. Orang. Well, I can't get rid of him because he's too effing powerful. Uh, that's one. You. You have, like, no men. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, this is him. Okay, maybe I can get a request from you. No. Okay. How powerful are you? You're not that powerful. 
What if you... He's distant kin? Hopefully we don't do too much inbreeding here. What if you marry my son? At least for now. And I kick your ass off of the council. Uh, that's S eh, Hassan. Uh, but he's good at his job. Uh, and I can put you on there. And then that alliance, uh, that marriage alliance will keep you placated, at least for a while. Uh, and I need, I guess I just need, he's going to, he's going to come over. And then I'll need one more. Rahula. Uh, Rahula, Rahula, Rahula. How pa he's also not that powerful, and he's kind of dealing with his own bullshit. So I will also get someone else on here. Let's maybe get the Faravid. Oh, you know, I should have chosen that Glory Hound. And hopefully I can bring him over to my side. Yes, okay. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to take these guys back out. But that's fine. We should be able to get there. Uh, within time. Okay, so we were able to get everyone on our side, uh, and then I will go ahead and send you back in. And then, uh, okay, so he's accepted that, so he will F off, and hopefully he won't cause me any problems because I kicked him off the council. He'll support me. Okay, so we got the support that we need. Ooh, this is going to be risky, 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 risky. I am not happy about this. I would love it if we could assassinate this guy. If we can assassinate him in the middle of the war, if we can get enough war score. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I waited too long. Uh, but I think we'll still get there before them. I, I want to see. Oh, no. So they'll get there on January 2nd and December 5th. Oh no, the army of Georgia will get there on the 5th. And uh, the other guys will get there on the 13th. Oh no, no, on the 2nd of January. And we'll get there on the 9th, shit. Okay, hold on. Let me double check that. So, Tiberistan, we get there on January 2nd. Uh, okay, so it should be fine. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. We're going to go to war with the whole effing world for Georgia. Okay. Uh, so let's get all of you guys together. Uh, you know what, actually? Let me bring them back down. And I actually will set a rallying point. Uh, let's do it for maybe Kurdistan. Or maybe, what, what's, uh, okay, we can do Tabriz. I think that's a little bit safer. Or maybe even Shirvan. Let's do Shirvan. It's kind of away from everyone. <sighs> Click, please. Shirvan. I can't believe, I can't believe that I'm in a world war. Oh my god, it's already 33%. How did that happen? Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring everyone up. And hopefully we won't have them crossing into enemy lines too much. Okay. Uh, but I think you guys... we can more or less have converge here.
Okay, hopefully we will get there first. And then we will be able to control the siege. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so hopefully that'll turn the battle around. Or the war score around. Uh, it hasn't really changed anything. Did my war get merged in with my vassal's war? Why is it already in negative 33? That's concerning. Oh my god, it's going to take 70 days to siege this? Jesus Christ. That's crazy. That's so long. Okay, I may have fucked up here. All right, here come the Christians. Oh my god, the Muslims are taking this opportunity to come fuck me up too. All right, this may have been a big mistake. I don't understand, though, why it's at negative 33. I really don't get that. Uh, I think I'll try to assault. I can't believe it's taking that long, though. That's absolutely insane. I must have missed something. I don't know why uh, it would take that long to siege. Oh, my God. Okay, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. If uh, he's probably gonna get like an early win too, because this is such an easier place to take. Uh, shit. You know what? Maybe I should. Can I get a white piece? <laughs> no, he won't accept it. What are the? What would I? Oh my god! I would lose so much money. Okay, guys, I'm going to say this. This is my first big, like, fuck up. Like, I actively chose to do this. <laughs> Probably some of you were screaming in the comments, don't do it. Don't do it. But I don't know. I really don't want to lose all this territory. It probably would have been a better idea if I had just waited. Okay, good. 20%. If I had just waited for the them to come become free and see if I could have attacked him before he could join the offensive pack. That probably would have been a better idea. Uh, but okay, I'm going to try to assault and see what happens. Okay. it's. I mean, we're taking a lot of damage, but we're staying ahead of it. So that's the important thing, but it looks like it's about to catch up with it? No, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going till the end here. Okay. Ugh. Jesus. Okay, this is going to be brutal. All right, maybe, you know, I'm going to try to make a white piece. <sighs> okay, so he's going to take this to the end, huh? All right. I honestly am also surprised how fast the Abbasids decided to get involved. So this is a kind of a big faux pas on my end. Ugh, but I don't know. I feel like it was worth a shot. They only have two provinces. So if I can just, you know, get them, it should be fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take myself out of this. I am aggressive and greedy, but I'm not brave. Okay, and our morale is absolute shit. And it's possible that the war score is really going to start turning here in a minute. Ugh. Uh-oh. My son is sick. That's not good. Honestly, I might consider surrendering. But we'll see. I I'm honestly I honestly can't believe that uh, the Abbasids decided to get so involved. Oh, and look at that! He's turning his army around. That's funny. Okay, let's try to take this. If I can get a white piece, that would be amazing. Oh. 
Okay, 13%. Are you willing to talk? Come on, think about Zoroastrianism. We have to stick together. Still no. Yeah, he's winning the war. You do have a lot of allies on your side, don't you? I I'm honestly can't believe that they, that everyone uh, around me decided to spring into action here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more mercenaries, or a couple of mercenaries. I guess I don't have any. Uh, I guess the big problem is this giant Abbasid army. That's the problem here. These mercenaries have high monthly costs. What's up with that? So 180, 17 a month, mostly cavalry. Okay. We can do that. Uh, and they're going to Lori. I mean, if they're going to show up and start hitting me, then I kind of don't know what to do in that situation. Because, I mean, if they're going to swing around here, then maybe we should go ahead and pull our guys out of Shirvan. How many men do we have in the area? 23,000. Uh, so let's go over to... Uh, is there anywhere with mountains? Or we'll be safe. To Tabriz, I guess. Because, I mean, if they're going to swing over here, we're kind of fucked. Unless, does he have, like, another war going on? I just find it hard to believe that he would, like, a vassal. No, he doesn't. That a vassal would get involved. Mm, you want to take part in a war game at a time like this? All right, I guess we can give it a shot. <laughs> I'm never good at these. <laughs> Let the best war, war lords win. Oh, we got a fight that's about to go down. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get uh, Shamran and Rahala in here. Uh, okay, actually, I kind of don't want to deal with this. So, light skirmish. I don't remember the event chain here. Uh, rush forward to help the skirmishers. And probably send the pieces flying. Oh, yeah, we are defeated. Yeah. Good game. Oh, my wife's pregnant. That's good. Any chance we can get a white piece? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, here they come. Okay, I think I might just have to swallow my pride on this one. I played this wrong. I should have waited for them to beat the Georgians. Uh, okay. Maybe if I can get all my men together, I can beat the Abbasids. I'm going to try that. The episode's getting a little bit long. Uh, so I don't want to do that. But I have to try. Okay, we actually almost have enough men in the area to deal with that big army. Maybe not everything is lost. But if the... Pr I, I think it's the... Ah, fuck. Okay, so we lost that little battle. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, the mercenaries showed up and turned things around. That's good. Oh, and they... Did they take Lori? Ooh. Okay, people are trying to kill me. I have my spy master on the job. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's keep getting everyone over here to Tabriz. Uh, and we almost have enough men to kind of contest them here. But they have 7,000. I think I, fu I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm going to have to give over a shit ton of money. 
for nothing, basically. But, I mean, oh, and they're going to get this now. God damn it. This is like the worst of all worlds. I really fucked up here. But who is this? Uh, Alright, so yeah, it looks like uh, Shahad. Vandad is happy about that, his wife. And the Zayeds, they are fighting with who? But why are you fighting them? And I don't fully understand that. Okay, we got we got men coming. Maybe I can beat them. Can we do it? Can we take on the whole world for two provinces? Oh, and there's a peasant revolt that the Byzantines are going to take out. Man, this was a huge international blunder. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like our wars have been merged, which is very odd. I don't fully understand how this works. So he has two wars going on. Super weird. So maybe me starting this war will at least stop him from being able to get it. Because it looks like he's going to lose this battle. And hopefully that'll get, make sure he doesn't have enough men. So maybe not everything is lost. And these guys are leaving. Okay, so maybe we can actually kind of get in here. All right, let's move up to Shirvan. And maybe we can kind of swing around uh, here. Ooh, you know, the Georgians are coming in, actually. Where are they going? Oh, no, they're going to Lori. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so go this way. Well, actually, hold on. I have more men than them now, so... Okay, maybe I will be able to outmaneuver them. All right, let's get let's get the best of the best here. So Shamram, Rahala on the flanks, and yeah, we can keep Toge, I guess. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the episode here, guys, just because I don't want this to get too long. I kind of fucked up, but I think that in the at the end of the day, even if I have to pay a lot of money, that this war will stop them from claiming Georgia and breaking away. But I still think there's actually a chance that I can take Albania and Abkhazia and take Georgia and stop this th threat here. So join me in the next episode. Let's see if I can uh, clean up this big fucking mistake.